Hi, welcome back to Therapy Designs. If you're new to this channel, my name is Kelly and this channel is all about teaching you how to create print on demand designs that sell. And as a bonus, if you stay tuned till the end of the video, I have a list of five niches that you guys can be working on right now. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how you guys can create this design right here. This includes making your own splatter mask to go over a frame. Um, and of course, adding some extra splatter along the edges. And you can use this for pretty much any niche and any frame that you like. So if you would like to learn how to do this, go ahead and stick around. So here I am on Canvas homepage. We will be doing a t-shirt design today. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the top where it says custom size. And we will be selecting 4,500 by 5,400 pixels. Um, that is the standard t-shirt size, and that will ensure that it prints at above 300 DPI. Again, I do prefer to design for the darker colors as they do tend to sell better. So I select black for my background color most of the time. In today's video, we're going to be doing a pretty simple clipping mask style design with a little bit of a twist on it. And because we are in the middle of a sports season, um, I'm going to do basketball, you could do football, you could do winter sports, you can do as many different things as you want. But I'm going to go ahead and just pick a basketball player as my kind of frame and we'll go from there. So I'm going to go to elements and I'm just going to do a search for basketball and we'll go to graphics and we'll pick a basketball player. So any of these outlines would do, by the way. So silhouette, I'll make it so I can actually see it. So there's one example there and we can pick any that we like. Here's another one. I think I like that one maybe a little bit better. Again, any of these would work. Eh, here's a basketball dribbler, another shooter. Here's another guy dribbling, another guy shooting. There's a slam dunk one right there. So any of these are going to work pretty well. So just go ahead, pick a silhouette that you like, and we'll go from there. So I looked for a little bit. This is the one that I decided to do that I liked the best. It was going to fill up the screen really well, and it was a really strong silhouette, so it was easy to read from a distance. I knew exactly what it was. So I decided this is going to be a great basketball player frame. So I'm just going to put basketball and frame and we're going to go ahead and download this transparent background for our frame and hit download and now we're going to be making our own splatter mask and so we are just going to be doing some cool effects using just paint splatter so i'm going to go up to elements and we're just going to search for splatter and the point of this design is to be random, bright, fun colors. So any of these kind of splatter things will do. You can get one that's already done for you like this, where there's a bunch of mixed splatters. Um, there's several of these that you can pick. So here's one again, where you can kind of pick the colors here if you like and create some different cool splatters. And so all you're going to do is just start overlapping things and you can mix already made ones with new ones and just sort of see how that's going to go. So something like that looks pretty cool. And I can, again, pick random splatters and do them myself. And so, I mean, any of these will really do. So for example, here's a splatter. I can just select the color. So let's say I wanted to put any color in there. Here's like another teal or maybe a blue or a purple, you know, I can do kind of any of those and be like, okay, I'm going to put the splatter maybe here. And then I'm just going to start overlapping different splatters. And so that is literally all there is to it. And we can put some fun big splatters over the top when we're done too. So if I wanted to add just the littlest bit of maybe a little white splatter in there, you know, like something like that I could do. And so we're just going to start again. We can pick any colors we want. I might make these a little bit brighter, maybe brighter orange, something there. Who knows? That looks pretty good. And again, I can just, it's basketball, so I can make the basketball kind of mostly orange like that. And I'm just going to start overlapping splatters. And some of these can be over, some of them can be under, so I can pick 
you know, where I want these to be in terms of what goes on top of what. This nice pink splatter here. So I'm going to put some pink down maybe here and just start adding the splatters. Here's some already colored ones. That's cool because then I can just start putting them right on top and just literally overlapping splatters. And so you can see the way that this is working. And I just want you guys to go ahead and cover the entire image with different splatters and try to make them your own. Play with some of the colors if you need to. So I played for a little bit. I put a lot of different splatters so you can see just tons of different colors randomly splattered. I put some white spray over the top and I made sure that every inch of my basketball player was covered. And so from here, I am just going to go ahead and call this a splatter mask. And we're gonna go ahead and download this as is. It does not need a transparent background. And then what we're gonna do is go ahead and jump over to PhotoP. Now, if you've never seen my videos or used PhotoP, super easy, just put PhotoP.com into your browser. You will get this, which is PhotoP. And this is the page that you're looking for. You click the middle button that says open from computer. And then from here, all we're going to do is go ahead and open our splatter frame first. And then we will go ahead and add in our splatter mask. So once it's open, you're going to have your basketball frame right here. And then what we're going to do is go to the left hand side where it says file, open place. And then we're going to go ahead and find our splatter mask and we can open that. It should bring the mask up right on top, just like that. Then we can go to layer, clipping mask, and just like that, it should put the splatter right on top of your basketball player. And then from here, we can take it, we can go file, export as a PNG. Little box will pop up, so we can go ahead and put basketball splatter. And then we can hit save, and then we can jump right back over to Canva. And on Canva, all we have to do is go to the left-hand side where it says Uploads. Click there, and we can go ahead and upload our basketball splatter. So here is our basketball splatter player right here. And so that looks pretty cool. And now what we can do is just add a couple little splatters that kind of come off the edge. And so to do that, we just go right back up to our elements and go right back up to our, our splatters. We can even go to our recently used splatters if we like and go to see all and it's going to show us some of those splatters. And then all we have to do is just pick any individual one that you're going to want. You're going to shrink it down a little bit and just sort of have that splatter look like it's coming off of him a little bit. So we can add just a little bit of that sort of texture right there and we can do that with a lot of these different ones and so this is all there is to it find one where we can get a little bit of a texture coming off of it if we match the color behind it what we could do even we wouldn't even have to shrink this if i match the color that's actually being shown here i can send it to the back so i can hit control on my left bracket and i can send the splatter all the way behind him so it doesn't cover up the front either. And so you can see how we can just sort of, you know, layer in some easy splatters. And again, I can match the color of the ball too by, you know, matching colors. There's my sort of splatter that's gonna come right off the side of the ball, send it to the back. And just like that, you don't have to add a lot. We can keep it pretty subtle if we like but we can just add little bits of splatter coming off of him, just enough so that you can see some of that in the frame. And so that's pretty easy and you can do as much or as little of this as you want. Less is more, so don't necessarily feel like you need to go all crazy on it. We can keep it relatively small here. Anyway, so there you go. Um, you can do as much or as little added splatter as you want. Um, and it just gives this nice kind of bright thing. And you can do this with any silhouette. And then once you have it the way you want it, I'm just gonna put basketball um, splatter. And we'll go ahead and download this. It is going to be a transparent background and a PNG. Make sure you get the frame or the, um, the page that you want. 
hit download. It is now ready to go on anything. You can put it on a shirt. You can put it on literally anything you wanted. Pop socket, phone case, water bottle, tote bag, you name it. Um, and it is ready to go. If you have any questions about this, drop it in the comment section below. I try to get back to everybody as quickly as I can. This is another fun one that you guys can play with and explore and try on all sorts of different silhouettes um, and just, you know, have fun with it. Um, and as promised, I do have a list of five bonus niches. All right. So as promised, here are your five bonus niches, and these are all basketball related to go with the design. So perfect evergreens and obviously perfect for the upcoming basketball season. Number one, January, February, basketball, April. I uh, hope you guys can figure that one out. Number two, I got five fouls and I'm not afraid to use them. Number three, box out, box out, box out. Number four, sorry, can't, basketball, buy. And of course that one can be scaled out. Just substitute the word for basketball for anything. And then number five, I just hope both teams have fun. And again, that one can be used for pretty much any team sport. So you guys can have lots of fun with those. Be as creative as you want, start working on those. These make for great evergreen niches. And anyways, I hope you guys are doing well, and I hope to see you guys again next time. That's it for today's video. If you found that useful and would like to see more videos with helpful tips and tricks, be sure to hit like and subscribe, and turn on your notifications so you don't miss any of the weekly videos. As always, keep growing and stay creative, and we'll see you next time.